All right, so today I'm going to be explaining another important article on model editing with the title Mass Editing Memory in a Transformer. So this important paper in 2023 from Technion. Recent uh, work has shown exciting promise in updating large language models with new memories so as to replace obsolete information or add specialized knowledge. However, this line of work is predominantly limited to updating single associations. They developed this MEMIT model that is a method for directly updating a language model with many memories, demonstrating experimentally that it can scale up to thousands of associations for GPTJ and GPT Neox. So how many memories can we add to deep network by directly editing its weights? Although large autoregressive language models are capable of recalling an impressive array of common facts, such as Tim Cook is the CEO of Apple, even very large models are known to lack more specialized knowledge and they may recall obsolete information if not updated periodically. The ability to maintain fresh and customizable information is desirable in many application domains such as question answering, knowledge search, and content generation. For example, we might want to keep search models updated with breaking news and recently generated user feedback. In other situations, authors or companies may wish to customize models with specific knowledge about their creative work or product. Because retraining, retraining a large model can be prohibitive, we seek methods that can update knowledge directly. To that end, several Several knowledge editing methods have been proposed to insert new memories directly into specific model parameters. The approaches include constraint fine tuning, hyper network knowledge editing. However, this body of work is typically limited to updating at most a few dozen facts. So you see that it's capable of updating thousands of memories at once. You see in A that uh, this unedited GPT, language models can be viewed as knowledge bases containing memories, memorized tuples, uh, so, yeah, each connecting some subject to an object via relation. Memits modify transformer weights to edit memories. Michael Jordan now plays the sport baseball. And in C, you see the maintaining generalization and fluency it scales beyond our method. And they propose MEMI to scale multi-layer updating algorithm that uses explicitly calculated parameter updates to insert new memories. So the goal is to modify factual association stored in the parameters of an autoregressive LLM such models generate text by iteratively sampling from a conditional token distribution. Uh, so it's a D-layer transformer decoder. This state is computing using this following recursive relation. So we formally define a list of edit requests the logical constraint ensures that there are no conflicting requests. For example, we can edit Michael Jordan to play basketball, but then we exclude associating him with professional soccer. So this is the architecture we edit for MEMIT. We edit stored associations based on observed patterns of causal meditation. So the layer, uh, the, the early layer attention modules gather up subject names into vector representation at the last subject token S. Then MLPs at layers L read these encodings and add memories to the residual stream. 
and in C you see that those hidden states are read by attention to produce the output and finally here it edits memories by storing vector associations in the critical MLPs so given a range of MLPs play a joint meditating role in recalling facts, we ask what is the role of one MLP in storing a memory? Each token state in a transformer is part of residual stream that all attention and MLP modules read from and write to. So if you unroll equation two, uh, you get this one. Therefore, when writing new memories, we can spread the desired changes across all critical layers. And uh, we wish to store a large batch, so we denote W0 by W0 out and analyze it as a linear associative memory that associates a set of input keys these are the keys to corresponding memory values. These are memory values. So we associate keys to memory, just minimize this one. And if we stack keys and memories as matrices, then this equation can be optimized by solving just a normal equation. So we cannot solve our problem with a constraint that adds only a, a, a single new association. So we define an expanded objective. Just but again applying the normal equation now in the block form. So a succinct solution can be written by defining two additional quantities and R, C and R. The residual error of the new association when evaluated on old weights. So it can be simplified like this. And we assume that the set of previously memorized keys can be modeled as a random sample of inputs. So we can compute C0. Because C0 is aggregate statistics over previously stored keys. So we just estimate this expectation, and which is an uncertain, uncentered uh, covariance statistic collected using an empirical sample of vector inputs to the layer. And you see that we first replace H with vector Z and optimize equation 16 so that it conveys the new memory. Then after all Z sub i are calculated, we iteratively insert a fraction of residuals for all Z sub i over the range of critical MLP modules. So we compute Z sub i, which is defined here. We find that by optimizing the residual vector delta sub i, just use gradient descent and you get the answer. In, in words, we optimize delta sub i to maximize the model's prediction of desired object given a set of factual prompts. So we seek delta matrices uh, such that this holds. Because edits to any layer will influence all following layer activations, we calculate delta iteratively in ascending layer order. So each key here is computed as the input to W out for each layer. And this is the total algorithm of MEMIT. We update layer L MLP weights in model. 